Namaste my beauties and welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode one of the ultimate backpacking guide. Today's episode we're going to talk about planning your route, getting you ready to kind of decide which countries that you want to visit and preparing yourself for that going forward because that's going to be a big part to play in all the clothes that you take and how light you travel as well. What I did when I first decided that I wanted to go traveling, I had a few countries in mind that I really really wanted to go and visit. The best thing to do is list all the countries that you think is possible for you to visit in that whole time that you're away. For me, I had a list of countries that I wanted to visit and I had a time frame of how long I thought that I was going to be backpacking for or traveling for. I gave myself a two year space of time to be able to travel and all the countries that I listed, I began to roughly plan a route of what country I was going to go to next. So I started off with Thailand because that's where most backpackers start off with and to be honest, I would say that it's so such a good place to start because it's a big country you could stay there for a while and it's really easy to get around what I did is I actually had it in my mind that I was going to fly to Bangkok and then I was going to make my way all the way down the country do all the beachy kind of areas and then head all the way back up and do the north and then from the north head on somewhere else I had that in mind already and I knew that I wanted to go to different countries around the Thai area so I just set it in a plan some people don't actually plan they just go to places off their own back but to just have a rough idea in mind it just really gets your mind in a good place to prepare yourself for that going forward but then whilst you're there you can choose to change that if you want to. I found for me it helped calm me to not feel so anxious about not knowing completely what I wanted to do at least I had somewhat of a plan. Out of all the countries what's good is when you've got a list of the countries that you want to visit you can kind of plan your route from each country and depending on how far away they are from each other so I'll go through my plan. I started off in Thailand. I worked my way down the country. I ended up in Phuket. I then had to renew my visa so I flew over to Cambodia. You just have to go out of the country and back in again to renew your visa which is what I did. So I flew to Cambodia. I only spent a week there and then I flew back to Bangkok. Flew up to Chiang Mai so I was then in the north of Thailand. Then I spent my time in the north and from there I decided to get the slow boat over to Laos which is what I really wanted to do before I left. Anyway I knew I wanted to get the slow boat which is a three-day boat into another country. So I got the slow boat into Laos and at the top of Laos in the north of Laos I worked my way all the way down to the south spent a whole month in Laos worked my way back up flew over to Vietnam spent a whole month in Vietnam started off in the north of Vietnam worked my way all the way down to the south I decided to then go back into Cambodia because I loved it so much that week that I was there so I flew into the south of Cambodia and spent I think about nearly three weeks there then from Cambodia I then flew to Bali I spent two months in Bali and I was actually planning to go to the Philippines and then I just decided last minute I wasn't going to so I spent two months in Bali and then from Bali I flew to Australia and then from Australia I flew back home for two weeks came back to Australia flew to Peru for two weeks came back to Australia and then flew to New Zealand in which I spent about three months in New Zealand and then I flew back home it was all planned in that sense I had in mind what countries I wanted to go to and I managed to visit all the countries I wanted to visit besides the Philippines I just kind of decided when I was there how long I wanted to stay in that country and truthfully thinking back I would have liked to have spent a lot more time in Asia I spent about seven months altogether in Asia and then the rest of the time I spent in Australia and New Zealand pretty much but yeah I would have spent a lot longer there but it's just good to have a plan in mind because you can kind of suss out how long you think you'll be traveling for then when you have that in mind you can then start getting your flights booked so with your flights when I decided that I was going to go traveling I actually had a three-year space of time to save my money before heading out to Asia and and I always knew that I wanted to fly in November. And the reason I did that, I kind of planned it so that I got to Thailand in their peak of summer. So it wasn't winter, rainy, stormy season. It was just going to be really hot and beautiful. And I would have spent Christmas there. So that's kind of a plan that it's good to do. And I think it's good to just kind of brainstorm, throw a few ideas around. If you're going with someone else, obviously ask what they want to do as well. But because I had the freedom of going alone and just kind of doing whatever I wanted to do I could chop and change it if I wanted to but it's really really good to have a few ideas in mind of where you want to go and just kind of mixing it around and seeing what country you could choose to go to next if you went to India for example so say you wanted to go to India for six months you could fly straight to India spend your time in India maybe you might all of a sudden decide to just do four months there so then you could go fly from India then fly to Sri Lanka and then from Sri Lanka you could fly over to Thailand and then from Thailand you could fly down to Malaysia from Malaysia 
Malaysia to Singapore so you know that you're taking the route down like this instead of going back around on yourself you can follow it down so it's not going to cost half as much as it might cost if you were to do that the opposite way or you could do the opposite way round where you could actually start off with the furthest country away from your home country and then work your way up the world basically so you could start off in Australia and then work your way up to Asia and then maybe even end up in Eastern Europe but there's so many different routes but it's so fun at the beginning to plan and kind of throw ideas around figure out where you want to go so planning your route for me really got me excited for my trip and really got me excited to get myself ready for it and just talking about it with your friends and knowing what countries that you could visit and what countries that you could go to is so fun to do so I really recommend doing that so having a date in mind of when you know you're going to fly is also really good because you can give yourself about a year prior to flying to book your flight and if you book your flight a year in advance the flight's always a lot cheaper so I would definitely recommend that but also it gives you that space of time to know that if you're going to be going away for two years you've got a year or six months let's say to catch up with your friends get everything that you need to go backpacking buy all the things that you need to buy just mentally prepare yourself physically prepare yourself it's just really good to give yourself that time and that date you go right okay I'm going to be going in six months time or I'm going to be going in a year's time and I know that that is the day that I fly it really just gets the whole thing set in motion and as soon as you've booked that flight it's like wow okay I know I've got this amount of time now let's sort myself out and let's get myself ready to really really make a move and prepare myself you might have to move out of your house or move back into your parents that's what I did I actually ended up moving back into my parents probably about nine months before I actually flew out there because one it helped me save more money and it gave me safety in knowing that if I ever wanted to come home at any time or if I spent longer out there I've always got a place to come home to which is great so yeah I really recommend just having a date in mind and just knowing that's when you're going to be going all right so thank you so much for watching I hope you learned something from this episode planning your route I hope this gets you excited and ready episode two is going to be based on how much money to take traveling with you so enjoy and enjoy your trip Mwah. bye guys Bye.